Hi guys, this is Grively with another pen review and today we're going to have a look at the Caveco Lilliput. The Caveco Lilliput is a very small fountain pen. I think it's probably the smallest fountain pen that you can get at the current moment or the smallest widely available fountain pen that you can get at the current moment. It's really tiny. I mean, it's barely, you know, much longer than my middle finger, so to speak. I mean, like I have slightly larger hands. My hands are on the large side, but even if my hands would be smaller, this still is really a tiny fountain pen. Um, to me, that is a pocket pen. Um, some people that have maybe really small or tiny hands might use that as a regular fountain pen or whatsoever. To me personally, that pen here really is a pocket pen. I have the matte black aluminium finish here, or I don't know if it's that matte, it's a bit glossy actually. It's a black aluminium finish, so to speak. It's not super shiny, it's not totally matte. I have for a size comparison, for example, I have the matte black um, AL Sport Night Edition here. That is definitely more made. That here is more shiny, that uh, Lilliput here. But as a matter of fact, the Lilliput also is aluminium. It also comes in, I think, copper, uh, brass, it comes in a silver aluminium and you know, there's one that's called like fire blue or something like that, comes in a number of like also special colors and stuff like that. That one here is the black aluminium. The shape of the pen, it looks a little bit like a giant pill or something like that. It's just a straight pen and then is rounded off on both sides. The finial is also printed onto or I don't know is that engraved probably onto that dome here it's white says Kaveco the three syllable Kaveco logo I find that looks really really cool the way that is put on here this rounded off domed finial says Kaveco Lilliput Germany here nothing else more on the cap you see the pen does pick up fingerprints uh, tiny bit not a lot though and then here on the end just also domed end with some threading because of course the cap or the pen is designed to be posted because otherwise it's really small i've heard of people that can use that pen unposted but to me you see that i mean yeah i mean i, I can write with it but not more than a shopping list because yeah it's just really really tiny like that it's just too tiny for me like that so what you do is you just post the pen and then you get a fairly comfortably sized pen. I mean, that is really like lengthwise. I'm going to do some more size comparisons in a bit. Um, you know, it's not a lot. I mean, it's about the same length than a Lamy Safari now. So that is fairly, fairly nice. It's a thinner pen, definitely. But I was really surprised that the girth or like the non-existing girth, because it's like I said, a very slim, a very, a very slender pen. I can write with that. It's pretty comfortable for me actually to use. So I was surprised by that. Uh, it has a very tiny section that flares out a little bit here towards the nib. It's comfortable to hold. As said, the threads here are not very sharp. I find myself when writing with the pen, I actually, funny enough, find myself holding the pen somewhere here around the threads. I don't really hold it down here. Um, I hold it some somewhere here and yeah, as I said, it's really comfortable to write with. That is really okay, even though it's a very thin pen. Uh, then it has a um, Bock nib on. It's Bock making those nibs. This is a broad nib saying Caveco. Um, it's branded for Caveco, has some scroll work on here, breather hole and stuff. That is here a broad, fat, juicy broad. Um, unfortunately, the Unfortunately, that was another, that's also a nice thing down here. The Caveco has, um, you know, the Caveco logo also down here on the feet. Very cute, very nice. Unfortunately, this was another hit and miss Caveco nib. So I had to whip out some micro mesh in order to get that baby, baby's bottom suffering nib to write at all. It just didn't write out of the box. It's a pity. Um, that uh, Caveco AL Sport Night Edition that I had here, I reviewed that recently, wrote out of the box like a dream. That one here, out of the box, just didn't write. Had to whip out micro mesh. Yeah, well, that's that's how it is. It, but I mean, this is a 50 euro pen or a bit under 50 euro, just shouldn't happen in my opinion. 
Um, there is one other issue that I have with the pen, but I'll show you that after. Let's unscrew first. You fill the pen with a cartridge that is a online Germany blue standard ink cartridge. Takes the short standard international cartridges. Pen is very short. You can only put in short standard international ink cartridges or the squeeze converter should fit. Not exactly sure. I've tried the piston converter, the small piston converter of Kaveco yesterday. Does of course not fit because of course this piston, this piston plunger thing extends too far beyond the barrel. So that won't fit. But short international cartridges fit. That's perfect. So one issue that I have with a pen personally is, and I've pointed that out in several other pen reviews as well. I really don't like it if I have to unscrew a cap a number of times for it to finally come off. And I find that is really an issue for me with this pen here, because this is a pocket pen. It, that, I need to post this pen for it to write, right? So, and if I now do a de sm small demonstration is that cap here, now the logo is up here. Let's see how many turns it takes for that cap to, un 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 for that cap to unscrew. So this is one full turn, two full turns, doesn't come off. Three full turns, cap, cap still doesn't come off. Now after three and three quarter, three and a half to three and three quarter, there's almost four turns for this little cap here to come off. Now I can still not write with that pen because for my hand, it's too short. So what I have to do is I have to post the pen. That works very nice. I mean, those threads, I mean, it's perfectly machined pen. No issues with that. But now let's count how many turns it is to thread on that cap. One, logo is back up again. Two, still doesn't come off. Almost three. That is four plus three. That is seven full turns of the pen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three for me to have the pen ready to write. As a pocket pen, I don't use that pen for very long writing sessions. That would never be a major pen for me, like the Lamy Safari, for example, that I just put off the cap and I can start writing. That for me really is a pocket pen. And a pocket pen, I have that on the go somewhere when I'm out and about, and now I need, I'm need. i in a situation where I need to take a quick note. Now, this just doesn't make the pen a quick note taker for me, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the major issue that I have with the pen. That is what makes the pen unusable for me personally. And that is why I have that pen as my pocket pen choice, because you know, uncaps, posts, and I write, right? That is one turn of the cap. That's how I want to write. Plus, it's still large enough for me to even like that write more than just a shopping list. I can really write a page like that. I mean, it's still on the smaller side, but I can. But you know, popping on that cap really is no big deal. So to me personally, I just wanted to point that out. That is my personal pocket pen choice because you know, that's, yeah, it, I, I, no, I just can't cope with that. But otherwise, the pen is perfectly machined, no flaws with that. The threading is excellent. The finish is excellent. The design is beautiful. I really love the way that uh, white logo is printed on that dome cap here. Like, it's really, really nice. I really like that. And uh, it is still a tad smaller than, uh, than a Caveco Sport. And then we have another Lamy Safari here for size comparison. Let's uncap them all. Let's hope none of those rolls away. So you see, this is really a tiny pen. I mean, it is an excellent pocket pen. I mean, you just like slide that into the, you know, tightest jeans pocket or shirt pocket, or you throw that into your handbag. There are also cute small leather pouches that are available for that pen. Very nice. Where is that cap is here? And I don't have to post the Lamy Safari because it's a fairly long pen anyway. So you see that, I mean, like they're all roughly the same length something like that. Um, that of course is the slimmest, the, the Lilliput. But anyway, it is a great pocket pen, but I've, I've shown you my issues that I had with the pen before. What is left to do for us is a writing sample. We zoom in a little bit and here we go with the, you still and the pen still. Now this is not because I had the cam un cam pen uncapped for quite a while in the course of the review. This is because the pen still you know, that side writes. So it's not a dry nib. 
it still suffers from baby's bottom. So I will still probably put another 10 or 15 minutes of micro, careful micro meshing into that pen. It's a pity that sometimes those nibs really have problems because otherwise once they write, they write really nicely. Kaweco, Lilliput. This is a really nice, in, in, in black, this is a really nice broad nib. It is definitely a broad nib, true to the size broad nib, really a lovely, lovely broad. Um, it writes, yeah, medium wetness, not overly wet, not overly dry. Very nice, as said, once it writes, it writes, but as said, that one here suffered from baby's bottom. I would still have to put a little bit work into that one. Otherwise, you know, if you don't have an issue with this uncapping and capping thing, or if you have smaller hands and uh, you can use the pen like that, which uh, you see again, problem with writing here, which works. Um, or if you're on the lookout for really compact, small pen that you know that you can carry with you everywhere and you don't feel the weight and whatever, then the Lilliput is really for you. Then that is really a nice pen. I hope that review was useful to you so far and I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.